Tulu Wassel as if it carries a Dhamma itself. Okay, so here we've got the um, word, so this is Uth Kuru. Uth Kuru. So we've read Uth on the first um, sound, which is the Hamza Tul Wassel with the Dhamma. And again, what we've done, you've got Hamza Tul Wassel, the second letter is Sakin, and the third letter carries a Dhamma. So we read the Hamza Tul Wassel as if it's got a Dhamma. Okay, so that's Uth Kuru. And in the second example is the Majidi. And again, they haven't, in this case that I've taken out of the Quran, it hasn't got the Dhamma. And the probability is there was a word before it with a sound which joined across to the uh, Dhal, which is Sak in itself. Okay, so that's a bit of background. Again, studying grammar is um, worth doing to help this, but grammar is very difficult and it's a lot to learn grammar just to try and work out your Tajweed rules. Okay, exceptions. So there are all sorts of exceptions to do with Hamza Tul Wasl, which are covered in higher levels of Tajweed. So we're not going to cover it here because it gets very complicated. Um, and to get to a basic level of Tajweed, as long as you can recognize that you've got the Hamza Tul Wasl and there are certain rules, then you can get by. We have covered the bare essential points. So these are the absolute essentials. They're the major categories that you would come across when you're reading. So in conclusion, we know the basics of how to read Hamza Tul Wasl on definite nouns. That's obviously with the Al, the definite article. Irregular nouns, there was only a handful of them, which you can go back and write them down from the slide. And we've got the imperative verbs, which we've just covered. So whether you read a Kasra or you read a Dhamma on top of the Hamza Tul Wasl. We know that the normal Hamzas with Sukun cause the preceding sound to be shortened. So we saw that as well. We know that there are exceptions to what we have learned. So if you're interested, you can go on to some uh, more detailed websites about um, Tajweed and you've got uh, some very big scholars who have written it down to very low level detail but it's very complicated so we're we're just trying to get you started here you will have to study in more depth to learn other exceptional rules and the best bet is to learn um, an elementary level of grammar take you about two years but you'll be able to cover most of it if in doubt always listen to a recitation from a professional reciter and check your pronunciation and you should be doing that anyway Every time you try to recite a verse, sing it or recite it along with um, a professional reciter from um, an MP3 player, etc., and check your pronunciations are right.